How long are you gonna leave this video stuff in the kitchen? Well, I mean, I, I need to get going in that spare bedroom in there, and uh, I need to take that over. I mean, if you, as long as you don't mind if I take over half of the spare bedroom and put my stuff in there. Half of the spare bedroom is filled with carpet. Yeah, well, I mean, I can pull that out of there. I can, I can move it out. And put it where? In my bedroom? Today. If you want what you want, you gotta do what I want. Maybe the game's getting ready to come on. You should hurry. You got two days. No, not yet. I'm just watching the game. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that now. The movie's nightstand. Thought you might like to see a little bit, see what our bathroom looks like right now. This is where we moved all the furniture into the into our bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, this is how we're living right now. The whole bath. This is a huge bathroom too, by the way. This is a big, massive bathroom. Look at all the stuff, man. Mm. This is the point of no return. Once you start cutting this carpet, that's it. You better have some new carpet. So, I'm just going to start over here. I just got a, a box cutter, case knife, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to take the point of it and kind of dig it in right here at the edge. Make a few cuts. Ooh. Don't cut your hand off. Try and get into it a little bit. It'll take a couple of passes in order to get through it. And just kind of dig it in there and start pulling up.
have some eBay. Everybody's got these door stops behind their doors, so they just screw into the baseboard. You can't roll the carpet up past there, it'll run into this, so we're just going to unscrew. You just, un just unscrew this. My hand. My hand is all wet because I'm sweating. Like I said, just, just unscrew this little, little thing from the wall. You're done. All right, you're gonna notice that I'm not on my knees using a knee kicker. <laughs> this carpet was so wrinkled, we got it cheap uh, for 20 bucks. It had come out of somebody's house uh, that they, they didn't like it. So anyway, long story short, it got rolled up and had to be folded in half, be transported and stored and all that. So I had to have a buddy of mine come over with his knee kicker and his power stretcher and kind of helped me out a little bit to stretch out a lot of the wrinkles. So yeah, not exactly do it yourself, it's do it with a buddy. carpet and then fold it in half to keep it stored until you're ready to lay said carpet. That will create wrinkles. Wrinkles means you got to call your buddy in with a power stretcher, which is not a tool you're going to want to run down to your your local, you know, hardware store and pick up cheap. Those things cost about 5 or 600 dollars a piece. Yeah, I guess you can rent them, but uh, it's an expense you don't have to take on. Otherwise, if you just have a roller carpet and a basic shaped room, it's a pretty simple job. You go through, you have a, a piece of carpet that's a little bit bigger than the room, you unroll it, you go through with a knee kicker, you kick it into place to make it suck down onto the tack strips, then you go along and tuck it in, trim it, cut it back, leave just a little bit of slack sticking out past the, the tack strips, maybe about an inch or so, then you tuck those in, they go right up underneath the baseboards that exist. This has been a, a fun little project, I guess. Too bad I had to miss part of the game in order to get everything cleaned out of the room last night to get started on it. But you know, hey, I'm keeping my wife happy. That's what it's all about. Thanks for subscribing. Share this with all your friends. Be sure to click the little thumbs up 
right below this video down there give it a thumbs up and also leave me some comments in the comment section I'd love to hear from you I'll answer and respond to every single last comment I get for as long as I possibly can until you guys overwhelm me with trillions of comments see you next time